Back we are. In the last video we basically did some tidying up, added some nice styling and added our two-way binding to all our uh, fields in our contacts. Now in this video I will dive into a new topic. I will talk about routing and then I'll show you how routing works. We'll start with a basic routing example in this video, but we will get to more complex ones and sub-routing in future videos. Let's dive right into this. To get started, I obviously first need a second route. At the moment, I only have one page here. Now, I want to create a, like a little header here where we get the possibility to either have our contact list here where we then can click on our contacts or go to a create new contact site. We will not actually implement the create new contact method or functionality in this video. We will do so in a future video, don't worry. But I want to get started with routing with this nice little example. The first very important thing for a working routing in an Angular 2 application is here in our index file, in our index.html file. We need to set this element here, base, ref, and then slash. That is very important for your URLs and your routing to work correctly in your Angular 2 app. If you do have any errors, you absolutely can't explain with all the other possible sources. Have a look at this one. This might help you. The next place where we will start to implement our routing is our boot.ts. Here we are bootstrapping our app component and since we will set up the routing in our app component as our root component, I will need to add something here in this bootstrap method. If we have a look at the arguments we can pass, then we have an uh, optional argument of custom providers. So providers this app component might need. This will be an array and I definitely need to pass the router providers. Providers. <laughs> so as, of, uh, as in the other videos, PHP Storm automatically imported them from, for me and this is an absolutely necessary thing for routing to work because this will enable our app component to do routing to get the router service, so to say, injected. Now in our app component here, I will first set up a little header up here where we will then do our routing. So the navigation bar, so to say. This will be a very simple one as of now, but should be fine. And I also will get rid of this contact list here because we will replace this with something different in a second. Now what I will do here is in my navigation bar I will create two links because I will have two routes. Now I don't need the anchor it created here for me. Instead I will use a custom Angular 2 directive here. The router link. And this takes an array in its quotation marks here where we then have again in single quotes don't forget this the name of our route now as of now we haven't set up any routes but as i will do this right after this we can as well start with that so the first one will be the contacts route which will just display the list of contacts and the second one i will just copy this the second one will be the new contact route, which will enable us to create a new contact. Now if I save this, we get this loading sign here, or this loading text stuck, because actually at the moment our app is broken, because we're setting router links, which our app component doesn't know yet. And if it were to know it, well, we would be using routes it doesn't know. So first let's fix the thing about the router links here. In my directives, I will import another directive, the router directives. So just as we had the router providers here in our bootstrap um, method where we inject providers into our app component, we will also need our right router directives here for these yeah, router directives to work. And as you can see, our app is no longer broken, even though it doesn't do anything and yeah, doesn't look that great. <laughs> so next thing is, I will set up these routes and therefore I have to add another decorator with some more metadata to this class. 
this will be the route config decorator and again I, I always stress this because this is an easy error source in my program here everything will be automatically imported for me you definitely have to have to import the router directives and the route config now in the route config we will pass an array so no object as in the component decorator but an array instead and in this array then we will pass the JavaScript objects and each object represents one route. Each object then has several properties, the first one being the path. This is what the URL will display. So the first one should be slash contacts. We will have a name. Well, this should match our name we set up here. So we will have contacts as our name. Oh, and I forgot a T here, I just saw it. So next will be the component which is responsible for rendering or handling this route. So the component will be our contact list component here. Remember that I just removed the contact list tag selector here. That is why it isn't displaying here anymore. And in order to be able to load it again, well, we have to tell our router where to find the content it should fetch. And we'll just duplicate that route and create a new contact route here. Currently I don't have a component here. I will take care about this in a second. Now at the moment when we would load this application here, so if I save this and we get it reloaded, we still don't see anything here. Now I can click on this and this won't work because I actually have no hook where content should be displayed. So this will be here in our main div where we previously had the outlet or the tag to our uh, contact list component. I will now create a new tag or a new directive which is the router outlet. This is a built-in directive of Angular 2 and it comes in the router directives. Um, import here and as you can see this now works again. Now if I remove this in the URL and go to this page we don't see anything. If I click here we will see it but it would be nice if it would automatically load this page Oops. if it would automatically load this page when we enter our root directory so to say. Therefore I can add an another property here which is use as default and this has a value of true. And now you can see that it already loads this website when we enter it on its main URL. So this looks pretty good, but I still got the second component which isn't available now. As you can see, nothing happens when I click on it. Because currently I have the contact list component set here. So I will create a new component here, a new contact component and I'll yeah I'll just copy uh, this here enter it here get rid of all our uh, text in the template get rid of the styles as well don't need them here don't need the input uh, I don't even need a selector as we're using a router I, I could by the way, I could remove this selector here as well, but it doesn't really matter if it's there or not. I won't need the contact service and I won't need the contact. So very, very lean component here and I have to rename it to a new contact component. And just to see that it works, I'll output some text here, create a new component. The actual logic of creating a new component, uh, new contact, not component, the actual logic of creating a new contact will be added in a later video. Back in our app component here, I will then replace this component here with the new contact component. Again, import automatically done for me. And now you can see this works and I can switch between these two routes. Now the last thing I'll do is I'll just fix the styling of this header here. To give this a nice look, I will go to my app CSS file and first of all I want the uh, navigation in the header also to be centered 
and then I will just reformat these links a little bit. So in my navigation, the links should, let's say, have a color of, um, I'll just pick the color I got here, that dark blue. I really like that. And they should have no text decoration, so no underlinings here. I will also make them bold. And now when we hover over them, or if we do have them active, they will change in color and yeah, let's like give them this color here. So save this. And as you can see, this now all works. So we got our basic routing going on here. It was really simple to set up here in Angular 2. Um, as I said, I will have a look at more complex routing with sub routes and so on in future videos. And we will obviously also take care about the ability to really create a new contact. But routing is <laughs> really a core concept of all web applications. So as you can see, it's easy to wire up. There are a few key things to watch out for, like setting this base tag here and also injecting our router providers in the boot, um, boot method here. But overall, really nice and handy thing to set up. See you in the next videos. Bye.